today we're on a flight to London in a couple of hours. Well, tonight, red eye to London. Not been on a flight in a couple of months, actually. I used to travel every single week almost to New York and Miami. So excited to get on a red eye. Absolutely not, but um, excited for the reason we're going. So George and Hunter hopefully win the High Rocks London and World Champs. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but High Rocks competition that they're doing together. So yeah, we're on our way right now to um, pick up my wife's new car. I had to get her a car because she is reliant on me kind of moving her around the city right now. And if you know LA, you realize you kind of have to have your own car or at least have the ability to use someone's car. So especially when the baby comes, making sure that she can move around, go see her friends, go to the office, whatever it may be. And then we're gonna get a quick workout in. I think me and Alex are gonna hit up I want to say like eight miles. Let's see, a little run. And then Ant is coming, physio's coming, flush out the legs before we get on a flight. Uh, I think it's about 13 hours to London and then another hour and a half to Manchester. So a full day of traveling ahead, making sure he's stretching me out, you know, looking after the legs, the back, the shoulders, etc. before I still on a flight for 14 hours. Car day, let's go some more, baby. Oh, is my right and my left the same tightness? You think? Mm, left was tighter. Yeah, so you know what I do is like a little bit of uh, just a combination of sports massage, deep tissue, soft tissue work, stretching. Um, Ross is about to jump on a long flight, but you know, he's also training hard on the other days over the weekend. Um, so he's a nonstop athlete, right? So the biggest thing right now is just, we're doing a post, I'm treating it like a post, like a recovery massage where he's, we're opening up all the muscles, all the fascia so that he can train later if he wants to as an option, or he can just rec recover the rest of the day um, and then hop on that flight and still feel fresh if he wants to train in London when he lands. We were connected when I was having a sore knee, trying to get rid of the pain in the knee. I think this was about like four months, three months ago. And I saw Anne on a Friday and I ran on a Saturday, literally. You remember when we were running and I was wearing a knee strap? Mm -hmm. I was seeing someone like every single day, wasn't getting any better. I literally saw him next day, I was running again. So what's the run looking like today? 26 miles. <laughs> nah, just a little six, six, seven miles with you, bro. Uh, before we go on the flight, flush the legs out. As you can see, I'm running in uh, short top and tights. Certainly won't be like this in London, I don't think. But yeah, Silver Lake, nice little six miles. And then we're gonna eat and we're gonna sauna and we're gonna ice and then we're gonna get on the flight, so. All right, bro. Big run. Um, what did we hit? 9k? Yeah. 9k. So. Felt really nice to be honest with you. Probably doesn't look nice. Trekking 200 pounds around. But um, yeah, just gonna get some food, go home, finish packing, hit some quick sauna, quick ice probably before you got on the flight. But yeah, excited to get on the flight. Time to relax, time to pack, and I'll see you in London. Bad boy trip up in the mountain. Yeah, you're coming, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whole crew. As soon as after we open the store. Brothers.
56 minutes. 56. My last one was an hour with George. Oh, nice. And I felt fitter in that one, so just feel bad letting this guy down. You know, he was like he's running. He was running. He was running backwards, and he he did the whole farmer's carry without dropping, and he was still 20 yards in front of me. Different human being, this guy. Superhero. Grateful that he jumped in last minute. Thanks, I could mate. actually draw his back. I just watched it for 56 minutes. <laughs> and actually, all I saw for the hour was his back. <laughs> no, no, Yeah, Shoku tonight, I promised George and John when they moved to LA we'd get Shoku, so probably one of the best meals I've ever had. Um, these guys just Excited. got together, they'll tell you the story, but honestly unbelievable. Lots of wagyu, lots of truffle, a lot of great people. I felt that when I moved to America, I was fortunate enough to meet just some of the best people. They're going to come tonight, different founders, CEOs, different companies, different categories, different fields, but you know, everyone loves to build. Um, brands, products, whatever it may be. So I think just getting together and having good conversation, we get food, that's the goal. Yeah, you guys just got back from Europe. How was the recap on that? Four days, Manchester, Liverpool, London, and a race, which Ross wasn't supposed to do. And I'm sure we've you've been on it. <laughs> yeah, last minute high rocks. Um, still recovering, we've got a marathon tomorrow. Saturday. 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 So, uh, is what it is. Yeah. Some guy did a living Jake, so I can't complain being one. But yeah. no, it took its toll though on the body. Like it was hard. We took a few days off before it, and we, we give it everything. So when you get your heart rate to that high for such a high a length of time, you don't realize what like it actually does to your body. Yeah. Like we were coughing up our guts for like a day or two after it, and. Like sitting there at 200 heart rate for six, nearly 60 minutes is... 52 for you. It's something you don't do in training, ever. No, like you can't. can get it up there for five minutes, two minutes, whatever. But to do it for that time is, is heavy. So we're, we're still recovering from that. We're just doing a bit of bodybuilding this week. And then a marathon. Lots of sauna, that. lots of ice baths, yeah. good food. But the mission continues as they say, right? So let's get it. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I know, right? Very well. Very good, man. But they are like, you know, like not like that. Right when COVID, uh, right when COVID started, we were looking at a restaurant in Manhattan Beach, and then we kind of had the idea to do private dining. We did a, we did an event for one of our friends, and we did the kind of like all opulent ingredients. He wanted kind of like the best of the best uh, ingredients we could find in the city, and then we got our first booking through that randomly, like right when restaurants closed. COVID, we are basically the only restaurant open that was kind of mobile, uh, mobile restaurant. We, can, we kind of started off with just doing very high-end ingredients and playing into that. So we started getting uh, bookings and just kind of from there, just kind of started going up. Uh, me and my brother from Singapore, we started it uh, three and a half years ago with uh, our one other partner, Cody. Yeah, basically got lucky during COVID where it just scaled in really fast. We started working with some really high-end clients and, uh, and blew up pretty quickly and just kind of been running it from there, just kind of working with different purveyors, getting like the most, now like the most exclusive ingredients in the world. And uh, yeah, we kind of just have our like nostalgic takes on stuff, we kind of have fun with it, not too, uh, not too finicky, not too uh, pretentious, and we just kind of do a, a fun with it, you know? Yeah. And I yeah. see like on Instagram, it says like not open to the general public. Yeah. Like how important is playing into that exclusivity of, of Shoku and like? I mean, that was kind of an idea, yeah. Uh, yeah, super, super important. Like in LA, you know, exclusivity sells. So as soon as we did it, we locked it off to the public. And honestly, it makes our clients feel a lot more special and it keeps like that network tight. So it was a great move, honestly, on our part. We love yeah, that. Yeah, it was kind of like a risk on it when we decided to do that. And it, it played into the exclusivity and people, people actually started booking us. So sourcing is probably the most important thing that uh, our business kind of relies on. Uh, we're lucky that basically, basically we uh, started, we were just working with some really cool ingredients and a lot of the purveyors from Japan and a lot of like the suppliers kind of just started reaching out to us. They saw what we were doing on Instagram and they saw that we were buying like really exclusive stuff that right, restaurant, yeah. most restaurants can't afford or like can't work into their menu. Now we have like some really, really cool connections across the world. Drinking wine, feeling fine Waiting here to find the sign That I should take it slow
that one. Yeah, bro, you want the raspberry flavor? I'll try that. Yeah, it's so good. Try this. What? All champions! Yeah. Pass it on! Yeah. Hold a pace where the majority of us run at kind of like a, a six minute K pace, because that's kind of probably going to be a comfortable pace for us. Uh, and then um, people can then break off as and when if they want to go faster, if they want to drop back and be a bit slower. Uh, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Three, two, one. So we're about six kilometers in, uh, running at a 515 pace. Uh, everyone's feeling good at the moment. Great start. Uh, we've got a long way to go though. over halfway pretty tired not gonna lie um well you know no excuses gotta get it done the boys are there um about two hours in so probably about two hours left i bet you that the last 6k george sends but let's see see you on the other side i think the discipline more than anything um, the two go hand in hand really and I don't know personally I uh, I can never trust someone who hasn't put their body through very intense things and I also feel like when it comes to your team and your brothers there's no way to build a better bond than going through very very difficult things together especially physically so yeah I'll be honest I uh, it's hard it's hard to keep up it's hard to stay disciplined but I think uh, sometimes you just need to prove it to yourself how strong you are I remember three years ago on two weeks notice I was like you know, fuck it, I'm gonna run a marathon in two weeks. Yes, I can. See, I told you no one in my team quits. And uh, I ran a marathon on two weeks' notice because I just needed to prove to myself how strong I was. So I think, yeah, doing challenges like this, especially as a team. How you doing, bro? Light work, boys. Light work, baby. Light work, bro. I'm doing challenges, especially as a team like this. Now there's no better way to prove to yourself, prove as a group, prove as a company, just how strong you actually are. And I'm fucking so proud of the team. I think 1% of the population has run a marathon. Fucking 100% of my company has. So, yeah, honestly, all credit goes to them. There's so much pattern recognition and great great team members and great funders just the ability to deal with stress not really like when the good K's feel good yeah you're just like yeah whatever but it's when you like knuckle down when the hard K's are there you're just like now I need to focus in right step by step yeah I think with the hard with the hard K's it's just about showing up yeah 100% and it's crazy that'll be you know, a few kilometers, you're like, fuck man, I can't do this. But if you just show up, one foot five, after the other, five kilometers there, bro, you're like, fuck man. Yeah. I'm fucking, I'm a champion, I can do this. Yeah. And I think like that's the parallel with like training hard and running a business is like, there's gonna be highs and lows. For sure. And it's like continuing when it's low. Yeah, 100%. 
but when things are hard, everyone's gonna look to like their leader. Yeah. How is he doing? You know, he's <laughs> chest up, chin up, motivating people. That's the hunter trick. Water on the head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get it. Seven K left. Fetching a second wind, maybe. Five thirty K. Honestly. So hard. I have so much respect for guys that run three hour marathons. Or just finish marathons. It's not easy. Finished marathon done, first one ever for me anyway. I think most of these boys have done a couple but very, very hard. Very hot. Unbelievable uh, effort from all the boys that showed up today and ran 26 plus miles. Um, most of them didn't really train for I don't think either. So unbelievable, especially the ones that flew in. So Captain Jake led us through and this little fucking speed demon finished us off first, but waiting on a few guys to finish and then I think gonna grab some food and ice bath and that'll be it. <laughs> 